Oh, dang. This is gonna be a fun one. I'm Ellie Awesome, and this is the WowGo board AT2. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, bro. An Aussie power cable, big power brick, the remote. Oh, and there's a USB C to USB. That's for the controller. A night riding light they've included. Skate tool, an Allen key tool with three different sizes on it. Oh, snap! A pump! So many things. Okay, straight up, this feature is mint. When you want to turn on the board, you just have to turn on the remote and the board turns on at the same time. Ugh. And it also turns off at the same time. Like you don't need this feature, but I love that it has this feature, especially for the price point. This is my first electric skateboard having come from a one wheel. And although they're very different, it's been easy to get started. I think I'm particularly pleased that at least on its level one speed mode, the takeoff on this board isn't insane. In the past, I've almost fallen off electric skateboards when trying them just because they've almost thrown me off from the propulsion of the most delicate acceleration from just the first go. But the WowGo 82 has been nice and easy going to get started on. I especially like that the board is flexible and bouncy in itself and it has those flexi batteries underneath. So when you are going over terrain, not only are the wheels being awesome, but the entire board is sort of shock absorbent. I specifically chose this board for its all-terrain wheels as well. I got the pneumatic all-terrain wheels on it and they have been awesome because it actually means that like a normal tire, you can pump them up, which means you can also let air out if you want to make it more of a spongy kind of ride. And that's great for, you know, getting over sticks or stones that might be in the way, even on just a flat path. I've not been worried about obstacles throwing me off the board or the terrain and it can easily handle gravel or grass. The only thing about this board that I struggle with is its weight. It's incredibly heavy to lift. And for me as like a really small human, it's a lot to carry around. I'm someone that will like take my board somewhere where I want to ride it anyway. So I'm not sort of relying on carrying it around as a commuter. So I'm kind of placing it on the ground and riding to my destination. I'm putting it in the car and driving to a destination that I want to skate at. The board has a range of 24 kilometers as well. So that's pretty good. And I don't think I'm gonna have to worry too much about carrying it around if it runs out of battery. And if you're in a hurry, the board can also go up to 40 kilometers an hour. But for me, that's way too fast. And I was happy with the uh, lower modes going probably like 15 kilometers an hour. Overall, a pretty awesome board for around 1,500 Australian dollars or 1,000 USD. I mean, you can't get boards a lot cheaper um, for this kind of quality. I'll be honest, I hadn't heard of WowGo before I got this board, but if you dive into all the electric skateboarding communities, it seems like this is a new fan favorite. One of the boards that's sort of like up and coming, that's fairly affordable and sort of does it all. And I've been really happy with it straight out of the box. The quality has been great. It's easy to set up and get started and it just works how you'd expect. It's a great electric board, especially for a beginner and better than I expected. If you guys want any more information on this board, I will put a link in the description.